Howdy folks, welcome back to Way of the Hunter. I've been running through a couple of the missions and the current one I have is to harvest a moose. Uh, we don't really have a gun that's able to harvest the moose. So we've got a little work to do. We're up to 32, I think it's 35 or 3900. I think it's 3900 maybe to get the uh, 300 wind mag, which would... Uh, take down a moose so we're gonna go do probably some deer hunting and uh, earn a little extra money so let's see it is nine in the morning so I might just go down to the river and uh, see what mules are out actually let me check which guns do I have on me let's make sure those make sense Uh, yeah, we got the, uh, 3030 and the, uh, Steyr Pro Hunter 2, 7mm. That'll work. That fully loaded. This guy's fully loaded. Awesome. In the mornings, there's usually mule deer along here coming down to get a drink, so I'll probably just head down towards the deer stand, see what we can see. I don't know if they plan to add archery, maybe in a future DLC. That would be an awesome option. You don't scare away everything. Should be heading, yeah, pretty much towards the deer stand. Still getting used to the LOD on some of these bushes. <laughs> they can look like a lot more is there than is actually there. Let me just double check while we're here. Encyclopedia, animals, mule deer, and whitetail have the same schedule, right? So it might be about done drinking, but they'll be they'll be heading towards their bedding. So if we pull up, all I've got is water need zones. Here I found uh, water and feeding, and we got some resting zones down there. There's no doubt more zones here that I just haven't discovered yet. There's the tree stand. So we'll work our way down to that. It's pretty windy. And I noticed the wind uh, has actually coming out of the southwest. Almost, it's almost always coming out of the north-northwest, but it's from a different direction today. But from what I've seen, it doesn't tend to change radically all at once. It won't be blown out of the north, and then the next thing you know, it's blown out of the south. It varies. I'm going to go kind of low and slow up to the stand. Wait a little bit to see if we see any deer drinking. In fact, I should probably scout those meadows at some point because I'm pretty sure that I've seen them feeding over there. It really bothers me that you can just clip right through a giant tree on the ground. 
I hope they fix some of that stuff eventually. But I'm getting used to its quirks, having a good time. Like that. I didn't move the mouse at all, but when I climb up the ladder, I'm suddenly looking at my elbow for some reason. Looks pretty clear. Shot uh, Fox did the day out of the steer stand, as well as some mule deer. Can tell if that's something back in there, or if that's. It's just a shadow play. I've never hunted from a stand IRL, so this goes against all of my hunting knowledge to set up in a stand. We would always walk through. We'd usually have some people down at the... Uh, one end of the property and then the others would slowly walk through so anything that you jumped walking then the people waiting might see it go by aim for the bee hole what's up Janice what my sapiens thought hey there's a mule right out there so they are they're feeding right out there probably a bunch of them behind these trees so that's a little buck. Or no, actually, that's a pretty good size rack. Maybe I should see if I could call in a doe. Uh. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that's that's a nice mule deer right there. That's what that is. I don't know, that may not be coming through on stream, but it's probably at least a two star, if not a three. It's kind of hard to tell from his coat. I think he might be f older. I want him. <laughs> ah. Might get a doe walking through the trees here at me though. If he presents me with a shot, I would I would take a two hundred meter shot at him. And then hopefully see where he goes. Keep an eye to the sides too. There's always mules around here. Your pheasants around. Oh, he moved. Looks like he's heading down into the river. Uh. I haven't heard any calling back to me. But sometimes they're hard to hear until they're really close. I can see a head down there in the bush. I think that's the buck. Oh, there I heard a call. Yeah, I can hear him now. I think there might be one right there. I can tell for sure. They're definitely calling back now, though. has died down it looks like why is that so loud yeah the bucks down in the riverbank 
I have to level up the call before I can make a call that the uh, buck cares about. So we'll try to lure in a doe. But we know there's a good uh, buck in this herd. be close enough. I heard something answer. But... So it could be right on the other side of those trees and I wouldn't be able to see them. I hear something behind me. Crashing through the trees. Is there a separate audio slider for... Sound effects, nope. Okay. I'm not sure why the interface sounds. Seems so loud. Something over there might have smelled me because I heard something crashing through the brush. See me. I guess my scent should be going that way unless the wind is drastically shifted. Alright, I'm going to make my way out of the stand and kind of head off maybe that way. See if I can get a sight line down to where those were. I guess the wind is quieter when you're in the deer stand. Yep, a lot of pheasants around here. My daughter is showing me here. She's watching. Hey, Sergeant Smith. I've been doing some of them. Uh, right now, the one I need to do is to, to harvest a moose. Uh, so I'm saving up money to get the 300 uh, Wind Mag rifle. Because I don't really have... I mean, I've got 7mm. Technically, I probably could kill a moose with that, but... We'd be better off with a little more powerful gun. There's a nice buck right out there in the river. Yeah, dark wind. my tracker's here. Now the other kid's trying to... Get in here. You gonna do some programming? Okay. <laughs> All the kids are here. Saving up for the tier six. Yeah, I'm almost there. I've got 3,200. I think the 300 Win Mag is 3,900, maybe, or 3,500. I forget. Somewhere in there. Yeah, there's that buck I saw. I think. There's a different one. I hear a doe. Uh. Also trying to level up my call. Okay, they're definitely responding now. Calling back to me. Yeah, they've moved out into the river. It might have been a little too far away before when I was calling. There's some more down there. See if we can get a doe called in. Uh. 
She might have heard that. Look at the rack. I don't know if it's coming through on Twitch. He's got a pretty decent rack. He's at least a two star, maybe a three. Oh crap, wrong button. Yeah, she might have heard. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at earlier. He's got a little better, a little bigger rack. It's hard to tell in this lighting, but I think he's the older one. Man, that's a nice one. But we ought to, we ought to go for the dough. That'll level up our call. Maybe we'll try to get him later. He's a little far away to be shooting. But man, that's a perfect shot, isn't it? <laughs> I keep, I keep going back and forth. Uh, let's see. All right, all the way down is 50, 100, 150. Yeah, he's getting too far away, unfortunately. Does are taking off. Got done with the ducks. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty disappointed with the ducks in the game. They're nothing like ducks. They're way too easy. Not sure she's gonna want to come in. Trying to get off the E to analyze spot here. Uh. I'm hoping at some point we'll have the option to turn on parts of the HUD. Because if you're playing no HUD, which I like to play, then you can't tell what you're ranged at. So I'll bring up the scope and then I'll hit down arrow a bunch of times to make sure it's 0 to 50. And then I just have to count my clicks up. gets close enough. In theory, I should be able to take her with the 30-30, but the game's a little wacky with damage. All right, down, down, up. Make sure we're at 100. We've got a couple doe headed over here, so we'll see if we can get one of them. Yeah, I hear you. You just need to turn broadside now. Go for, I could try for a hard shot, but got the wind almost in our face, so it shouldn't be a huge factor. Hard shots are kind of tough, though. <laughs> Why that hits the far back? She bedded down over there. Let's give her a bit, make sure she's going to stay down. There shouldn't have been any wind deflection. It looks like it hit like six or eight inches to the left of the aim point. It's kind of weird. I think the bullets are pretty slow. I know you can see them in flight sometimes. Wait, is that a water pistol, Dave? Sometimes that feels like what's the 3030 is. <laughs> but that that would have been an easy kill with the 3030. Except it's kind of wacky in the game. Even the 243, I think, is underpowered. I think I don't know if it's the lungs. Heart and spine seem modeled pretty well, but maybe not so much the lungs. Alright, I think maybe she is down, so I'm gonna put a marker there. 
you should be able to keep track of her. But once you get over there, they can really hide in the grass pretty easily. Um, why didn't you put a marker down? Did I erase my current marker? Mark. There we go. It's the only got iPhone emojis. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Alright, let's go get her. It'd be not a ton of money, but it's leveling up our uh, collar. Oh, I got my boots wet. Alright, yeah, I think she's down, down. Oh, hey, water sound effect. Welcome to the party. Uh-oh. Too deep. top of it. There she is. Oh, shoot. There's the... Oh, they were right there. I couldn't see them through the trees. Hi! How's it going, buddy? You're looking nice up there with your antlers. Get a twofer. Yeah, only 141 coins, but yeah, see, that was way back from my aim point. I was aiming like here. That sucks. I think the bullet travel is just super slow compared to real life. Oh, interestingly, we didn't... That, that doesn't make any sense. That should have spoiled a bunch of meat. That's a bad shot. That should have spoiled a bunch of meat. And it only spoiled a third of a kilogram. <laughs> what? Yeah, the game is really inconsistent. I, I really enjoy it, but they need to get some of this stuff fixed. It's kind of silly. Yeah, but the wind was coming into my face, Dave. When I took the shot. It was basically coming right into my face. If anything, it should have made the bullet go to the right. But at 100 meters, right into my face like that, it shouldn't have had any effect. It's just whacked. I've noticed that before, where the, and I think it's just me not compensating correctly for the game because I'm used to real life shooting where bullets are fast, and in a lot of games they're just not fast. The only way to tell the wind is uh, you feel it on your cheeks. <laughs> now, if you, if you look in the map, it may not show up on Twitch that well. There's a little pink, like, mist. That's the wind blowing your scent. So you kind of see it's going off to the northeast. The wind's kind of out of the southwest where I'm at here. And I was shooting... I was shooting pretty much, like, west southwest and the winds out of the southwest so i hope that makes sense all right i might just hang out in this 
tree stand again for a little bit. Ooh, actually, you know what I should do is circle around over there. Yeah, let's hang out in the tree stand for a bit. Yeah, that's your stinky, Dave. It's blowing your stinky all over the place. So I think of that like being able to feel the wind. So we don't have uh, any wind indicator or anything. Oh, look, where's my tree stand? It's right there, dummy. And at first I couldn't use these markers, and I thought that was because it was ranger difficulty. Uh, but what I discovered was it was actually a setting. Uh, markers always visible. Has to be on. But if HUD visibility is off, then you don't see them here, but you'll see your markers on the map. Which I'm okay with. That's like you've got, you know, a GPS pin. And it's, it's not very exact because the map isn't super zoomed in. So I like, I like using that. Oh, get that out. So they ran off into the trees. They're over in there somewhere. What I could do is go over up this road and look into these fields to the west. We don't see something come along. Yeah, X will place the exploration marker, this red one. You can have one of those. And a long press of X will put down the blue tracking marker. And if you're not looking through a scope or binoculars and you hit X, it puts a marker where you're at. Okay, never mind. I just lied. Usually it puts a marker where you're at. Apparently not if you're in a tree stand. <laughs> because, you know, why be consistent? If you're standing on the ground... Weird. That's really inconsistent. I was using it earlier today when I was walking, and it, it worked perfectly, but anyway. It'll put it somewhere near your location, maybe. What's up, Heli Pilot? The no HUD life is good. I like it. Hardest difficulty, no HUD. It's the only way to play. <laughs> it's the only way I want to play. There's nothing wrong with playing other ways. And it's nice that the game lets you customize your experience. The only thing I really can't do with no HUD is tell what my scope is set to. So I usually just leave it at 100. Or if I need to adjust it, I'll count like I was showing earlier. Yeah, the FOV slider is coming. Coming soon. Trademark. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have that issue with uh, the FOV helipilot. I would imagine on an ultra wide, it's really bad. Lucky for me, it, it, that, that doesn't bother me. If I've got a friend that's like that. He can't play a lot of first person games. Make some motion sick. Well, while we're waiting, let's take a look at... Is it under character? Yeah. Um, here? Sell 30 called animals. No, this one. So we're halfway there to getting second level calls. 
too old now, Gerba. <laughs> too old now, Gerba. Ah, uh, yeah. Tell me about it. I'm just trying to be as tough as my mom. She'll be 73 here soon, and she still is out chewing and mowing weeds and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty quiet over here. We know there was some mule that way. Uh, there was some, there was another herd down the river, so they likely went you know south. But I think I'll head over and head up this road and see, because there was a nice buck in that herd. And judging by the coat color, I think he's old. So let's go see if we can get eyes on him again. Kind of keep an eye out for need zones through here, too. There's a lot of... I've seen fox and badger. All kinds of stuff. Do I have fox? No, I don't have any fox need zones. But I've killed foxes over here. Interesting. Interesting. We need a free look key too. That would be superb. I like in the Hunter Classic how you have a free look. Yeah, I hear you, Pheasant. I left my shotgun in the jeep, though. Just looking to see if I could see anything out of those muleys. You got auto walk, too. Well, I need to. I need to reach over here and get my chapstick. Oh, there they go. <laughs> the sounds are really good. Do you know what those were, Munchkin? Those were pheasants. Have you seen a pheasant before? You'll probably recognize it when you see it. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, they all flew off. About the size of the chicken. Bird. My daughter is here observing, so I was going to show her a pheasant, but they all flew away. our most important hunting tool right here. Binoculars. I guess that's just shorter grass. It kind of looked like it was a either an eating area or a bedding down area. <gasps> oh, what we got here? Drinking zone for the mule deer. Must have already had that one. See how the sound just kind of pops in? There's little things like that need to get tweaked. Overall, I'm really enjoying this as a hunting game.
I think I wore my hip waders. The heck was that? they went. Time's to get to be in the game. It's almost 11 o'clock. They probably are heading for their beds. I need to discover this uh, hunting stand up here anyways. We'll just head up the trail. There's a lot of meadows up here around the border, so around the corner here. So See what we can see. That sound like trees. They were over here in the trees. They might have smelled me. They were like right over here. up through there somewhere, but I sure don't see him. I hear him. If they saw me or smelled me. Thirty-three. I think we need thirty-nine hundred for the gun. Way fly. So now we have the slow part of hunting. I'd have to return to a lodge or a vehicle, Dark Wind, to change weapons. So if you're going to be way out in the boonies, uh, having the jeep around is handy. Of course, you scare stuff when you're driving the jeep, so you don't want to drive right up to where you're going to be hunting. But it's a big map, so if you're way out somewhere, having the vehicle nearby was handy. But these, uh, cab any of these cabins, you can change weapons. 
Uh, not the campsites, at least not the one that I've found so far. Alright, so i got to remember my sense pretty much. The wind shifted back to the north, at least over here. Don't know if it varies by where you are on the map. Or if it's a global map wind. But it has shifted. There we go. I don't think camouflage is a thing, but it makes me feel better sitting up here so my outline's broken up a little bit. Should be close enough to hear that. We'll see if we can get one to attract it to come in. I think that's just four muley does from what I've seen. Where's your fellas at, ladies? One coming over there, and this one I think is wandering down. So yeah, that's five doe. Pretty sure that's a different herd. bit of a dip there. Down in the dip now. Uh. Need you to come out of there. about all coming over now. I hear you. That work. That was too perfect of a heart shot to let it go. They will drop if you can get them in the heart. Uh, the lungs, the lung damage seems a little off. I've had him run even after getting shot twice through both lungs. <laughs> They'll eventually go down. They seem to seem a little runny. Yeah, right in the heart. Booms. Okay, well, we grazed the left side, but all that cavitation damage. Nice, quick, and clean.
Tracking time. Runaway distance. Zero meters. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Alright. Did we get close enough to that yet? Nope. Iron lungs, yeah, apparently. Yeah, like I was showing you Dave on the Discord earlier. When I got Hollywood for the mission. Shot him in both lungs. Or no, what was it? One I think one lung maybe. And then he just ran over and started grazing again with his herd. So I had to sneak up on him again. <laughs> had a nice under 100 meter double lung shot. And then he ran off again. And he only went, I don't know, 200 meters or something like that. I wonder how far they ran off to. Down around the corner. They keep going. If it's classic or Call of the Wild that always had so much trouble with the chest shots. I think it was Call of the Wild. You'd shoot him like from that distance with a 270, and it wouldn't penetrate the front muscle mass. <laughs> it's like, come on. That right there, that's how that should work. Boom. Right through the heart, and they drop in their tracks. So I don't think. Do I have their. We got their drinking zone. I don't think I have that feeding zone. I think they were feeding over here. Let's see if we can find that feeding zone. We'll get that marked. Ooh, I don't know if I can get across there. Ready? Woo! Oh, there was a need zone over there. Is that the one I already have? Yeah. have some eaten down area over here somewhere. I can see where they've been eaten. Is it not always a need zone? Yeah, Dark Wind, that, that was kind of a disappointment. I don't know if that's something they're going to be adding ever. heck was that? It sound like a cat hissing at me. But that, yeah, that was disappointing that you can't, they don't leave tracks. The only tracks are, there's tracks on like the trails. But I think that's just to show you what's been around. Oh, they absolutely would, you know, for realsies, but not in game. But if there's a lot of deer around, is something growling at me, spitting at me. What am I hearing? Some poo. Uh, what was this? Oh, yeah, like like where uh, I've hunted, where we used to hunt when I was a kid. My mom and dad did a lot of deer hunting. There's so many deer tracks, you can't tell what's going on. <laughs> so may maybe not having the tracks is not that big of a deal, at least for the deer here where there's a lot around. But it would be nice if that was a thing. So you can see there are tracks, but I think they are just to show you kind of what's been in the vicinity. And I've seen some that were like almost faded. I don't know if that's a, 
a graphical glitch or if that's supposed to be that way. You can tell there's a lot there's a lot of sign over here. Definitely a lot of deer. Looks like they kept running. Yeah, they need to fix this. Like evenly spaced poos along the walking trails. Come on, guys. Just because I love a game doesn't mean I won't criticize it when it when it needs it. So I'm not hating on the game. I'm just pointing out things about the game that I really like that I wish were a little different. Everybody's so dang sensitive these days. Alright, it might be time to move to a different area. Look at it, it's, it's literally at regular intervals along the trail. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> Does any of this poo look fresh? This all looks fairly old. I think I have some. Have some? No, have seen some. Uh, that was kind of shiny looking, like it was newer. Again, I'm not sure if that's a feature or just a graphical glitch. Where the rest of those does got off to. Apparently they kept running, uh, but we might go try uh, some whitetail. So uh, it's about noon. What's the game say that they're doing around noon? I assume they're kind of bedded down. Yeah, by, by one o'clock they're snoozing. They'll be up and around mid-afternoon, which makes sense. We're 35.05. Let's go back to the lodge. I'm going to double check what exactly I need for the 300 wind mag. I thought it was 3,900, but let's go check. Because I have a mission to get a two-star better moose. So I'm working towards the 300 wind mag. Do-do-do-do. 3,900. That's what we're after right there. We just need another buck or a couple more dough. And we'll have that. So we can fast travel. There's white tail there. We could fast travel down to this camp. And there's muley and, and white tail here. Let's do that. We'll go down to this campsite. See what we can find. Wait for the grass to load in. Down here, it looks like the wind's out of the east, which is not ideal for this location. So we don't have a lot of zones here. I need to be over there on that hillside. our play here. Maybe circle around. Also, I don't know what the question mark means. So there's a question mark on that. I think that means there's missions available. Does anybody know what the question mark on the campsite means? Does it mean there's something here I haven't investigated? Is there a new thingy on the bulletin board? No? Oh, you have to inspect the map. What does that do for me? 
No idea. It has a little check mark now. Okay. So yeah, I think I'll circle around this way. And we'll see what we can see over here. Have to do a little traveling. Yeah, plenty of deer sign. I kind of like to get the 22 and I could pop these pheasants in the head. But I want to get the 300 win mag. Start getting some bigger game. Elk and moose. Bear. You can throw a little variety into your hunts then. for that ish get up on this rise over here and have a look around been a pretty good hunt so far just been an hour and got a couple harvests See for quite a ways up here. There's just not going to be much out, I don't think. This time of day. I can always bot back over to the campsite and rest. Uh, but the animals have a lifespan. So every time you sleep, you're probably losing trophy animals. Because they're dying off and disappearing. So I try not to skip time just willy-nilly. Scared something off over there. Or trees breaking. Badger. No stinking badgers. I guess we could shoot badgers. Not seeing the badger mounds though. Oh, they're there. There's one. This is a beautiful spot on the map. Nice wide river. Big tall trees there. Yeah, I'm not seeing much, unfortunately. Uh, let's take a look at our encyclopedia. The badgers are out and about. 
like in the middle of the night and early morning. Uh, foxes will be out feeding here soon, right? Yeah, they'll be out feeding soon. Um, so we know they'll be at least down here, if not elsewhere. I uh, really shouldn't be shooting them with the 7mm, but we do have the 30-30 with us, right? Yeah, I've got my 30-30. Oh, there was a deer down there. Where were you guys? You kidding me? Where were you guys? Unfortunately, they make tree-breaking sounds even when they're sprinting away across the open meadows. It's a... That's a bug. Oh, I was hoping they'd turn and Nope, they are they are noping out of here. All kinds of nope. I don't know where they were. They must have been down in the river. Where the heck did they come from? They must have been down here in the river and I just didn't see them. Bedded down somewhere out of sight. Oh well. We got over here. Anything? I don't think the foxes sell for a whole lot. So they're long gone because they're. Or no, the wind's shifted again. Never mind. They didn't smell me. I must have just spooked him walking. Where were you guys bedded down? Can I see your bed here? I'm not really seeing anything. I'm sure how you tell a drinking zone, other than just finding it. I'm not seeing any bedded down areas. Yeah, I don't know where they were. Feeding zone right over here. Got a ways yet before they're out feeding. Hey, what's up? Is it Black Rhine? Hope I said that right. Yeah, they might have been in the bushes, dark wind, but usually the grass is pressed down. You can see where their bedding area is. Um, I don't think it's better or worse than Call of the Wild. It's different. It's uh, aiming more for realism and detail, whereas Call of the Wild is just kind of an arcade shooter. So it really depends on what kind of experience you're going for. If you want a super quick hunt, uh, and just want to just want to shoot stuff. Call of the Wild is a great game for that. Good for a quick fix. If you want something a little more realistic, uh, it focuses more on like tracking the animals and herd management. Uh, there's just a lot more detail, and especially playing a ranger difficulty. It's you can't just sprint around everywhere. You have to kind of find the animals and sneak up on them. So. 
I would say this would cater more towards the Hunter Classic fans than Call of the Wild. But you can also, this game has all the helpers and stuff, like Call of the Wild. I just don't like to play that way. But you can tailor it to suit your needs. You can have easy to difficulty up to hard difficulty. And you can have uh, all the different HUD elements and stuff on to Hunter Sense to show you where things are with glowy bits. However you want to play. I've successfully spotted a log. <laughs> it looks like a deer standing over there. I think that's the herd we spooked. That's a log, though. So let's see if we can get one of those doe called over. Let me get over here by this rock. Uh, Way of the Hunter does have perks, which I wish you could turn off. Because some of the perks are negative. So... It's kind of a bummer when you level up something and then it makes you move really fast and loud when you don't want to move fast and loud. Yeah, look at them all back in there. A bunch of dough. Completely not interested in my call at all. Get a little closer. I just couldn't possibly care any less. <laughs> There's got to be a feed zone over there, right? That should have put a blue marker down. Yep. Cool. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's might go check that out later. I think there was one... Yeah, there's one doe that's like kind of interested. Hey, Matt P. Welcome. There's got to be like eight doe over there. Wind's blowing right in her face, so that's good. It's a doable shot, but to level up my call perk, I need to have them be called. I'm not sure they're actually being attracted by the call yet. They're definitely paying attention now. I wonder, you suppose the wind affects how well they can hear it? I don't know if that's, if that much detail's in here. I don't want to get too close. We're already pretty darn close. Looking around. <laughs> What's that noise? You go check it out, Ethel. Didn't even see you there. Sorry. My bad. There we go. Nice clean kill. I was looking over there. <laughs> there they go. Wow. There's like a dozen doe right in here. Well, that should be one more for the perk. We got darts to dish. <laughs> Dang. Dropped her like a sack of taters. That's what we like to see. 55 meters straight through the heart. 
Booms. Oh, we got back in the stomach. Penetrate. Wow, that was... Why'd that penetrate so far compared to the other one? Uh, so we should have run some meat. But we didn't. That's so weird. I thought they modeled that. Maybe, I've seen a lot of loss before, but maybe it's because the... Uh, I've seen people shooting deer with like the 300 wind mag. Maybe the loss was due to the caliber. Because you don't want to hit the stomach or the guts because then you get all those microbes in the meat. It gets contaminated. So we actually hit a... Yeah, we hit the... It was a little too dead center. Lost a lot of energy there hitting the breastbone. Got into the tip of the right lung, looks like. Left lung, maybe. Yeah, left lung. And then right as we almost lost all of our ideal energy, we hit the heart. Cool. I'm glad they said something. They almost stepped on me. <laughs> uh, you got to be looking around. And I wasn't. I was laser focused. Straight ahead. Wasn't looking around like I should have been. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can pick up whatever feeding zone that was. I don't know if there's a drinking zone along here. There's like a trail there. Looking for where it looks like they've been eating, but I'm not seeing anything. But they were right in this area browsing. Maybe they can graze anywhere. Doesn't necessarily have to be a feeding zone. Yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of a feeding zone over here. Like it when it's very sim. Is it, uh, maybe it's Blacker? Black Rhine? Yeah, I do too. I, I enjoy, I mean, I've played Hunter Call of the Wild, but it gets a little ridiculous. The animals just throwing themselves at you. It's too easy. It can be fun if you just want a quick fix. Uh, but I enjoy a Hunter Classic. This is a lot more like Hunter Classic with uh, more detail and amazing looking graphics. Yeah, that's strange. So they were definitely feeding over here. But I'm not seeing an official feed zone here where they've got this grass like trampled down. Got some sign there. So yeah, I don't know. Bug or feature? I don't know. Oh, Black Rhino. I gotcha. The zero is an O. That makes sense now. Whee! See if we can get across here. I heard one over there. Can I get this rock? There we go. Oh, come on. You got this. 
Nope. Okay. It doesn't want us to stand on the rock. Did I scare away the deer now? No, there's... Oh, they're looking. <laughs> there's a buck with them. Is that about a two-star, maybe? How dark is his coat? Does he need gold? I don't know if that's a mature or not. Let's see if we can get a little closer. There's a need zone. Doesn't. See the feathers in the grass? Ooh. Decent looking buck back in there. I don't have a good shot at any of the bucks though. I don't suppose they would follow the doe over, would they? I don't think it I don't think it's that detailed. There's at least three bucks over there. They're on the back side of that rise there. So I'm not sure. The wind is perfect over here. Let me just get rid of this while I'm thinking about it. If I circled over there, I wouldn't have a shot. I might be able to circle this way. So the star system is um, like the trophy class, I guess, trophy rating. So of course, five stars the max. It's like a four star won't get as big as a five star. Uh, the money value is based off meat. In the game, you're hunting meat for your grandpa's lodge that's sold to like local restaurants. So when you go to harvest, you actually see how much meat you got, and then you get paid per pound for the meat. So the monetary reward is just on size, and then that also scales with difficulty level. Since I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, I get a little more money per pound. Oh, scared them off. That's the that's the herd that I followed over here. That was a different herd with the bucks in it. So they're probably all gone now. They saw me. They were through those weeds and I didn't see them. So that no doubt scared everybody off. I haven't noticed them flipping their tails up like a white tail should. Maybe I just haven't noticed. So I hope that makes sense. Then uh, if you want to keep a trophy, you can tax or demise it and put it in your lodge. But as far as earning money in game, it's all about the meat value. All right, so is there a need zone out here somewhere? They were out here grazing. So yeah, you got to be careful. I, I spooked that other herd. They were just over the hill from me there. Hidden by the grass. And then they took the uh, take this other herd with them. Again, I'm not seeing a, a clear, distinct need zone here. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Normally a feed zone, the grass would be kind of like cropped short. I'm not seeing that anywhere where these deer have been grazing. And I'm, I'm fine. If that's a feature, like they can graze anywhere there's grass, I'm totally cool with that. I just don't know if that's a bug or a feature. <laughs> so yeah, they took off over that way somewhere. 
Heard him crashing through the trees in the middle of the meadow with no trees. Alright, so we got that feed zone over there. But the devs are aware of most of these issues. So they'll be getting them fixed. Now, I, I put in a bug report for the disappearing blood trails. And I uh, got a response within like six or eight hours. Uh, you know, they're aware of it. And it will be fixed in a future patch. So, looking forward to that. I would imagine they're past the railroad tracks. So let's head up here to this rise. And we'll take a look around to the... Was that the north? Oh, no, I'm all turned around. East, southeast. There we go. This is more pheasant. Yep. The old hovering deer poo. Let's see how that's shiny compared to what we were looking at in that other meadow. So I think that's a feature. That looks fresh. It's shiny. And the other stuff was like dark and dry looking. Well, that's cool. If they've got put that much detail into it and it's not just a coincidence, then that's pretty cool. Yeah, coming in not as hot. They've got other priorities like FOV slider and, and key binds. They do have info on their uh, Discord. That's what uh, Dave's referring to. He had, uh, was it like three things on the coming in hot? FOV slider, uh, key binds, and there was something else. It seems like. Let's hunker down here and see if we can get a eye on where they went. Thirty-six. Wow, we need two hundred and fifty-two dollars. No, it's not dollars; it's coins. But whatever. You know what I mean. Buck's looking at me. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it wins off to my side. I gotta keep that in mind. Direct crosswind. And again, he's down in a little low point. I can't see him. One of the patches are supposed to fix the my knee goes through my face problem in first person. Thought we lost you. Alright, we're gonna go photo mode. Uh game is paused. Yeah, alright, cool. I might not be close enough. Yeah, I'm not quite close enough. You can only get so close when you're in the uh, drone mode. You can only get so far away, I mean, from your player. See, there they are. They're down in this little depression here. I wanted to get a close-up on one of those bucks. Let's see if we can ease up a little closer. I don't know how much noise I make. It's gonna sound weird, but remind me to look at their butts. I want to see if they flick their tails up like a white tail should. If they do, I haven't noticed it. 
It must be real subtle. I see there's a smaller Bach. And there's one. I thought that had a little bigger set. Is he the... Might be the two smaller ones. They're probably like one stars. And there's herd management to the game. So you want to... You want to call out like any adults or matures with smaller racks because they have lower genetic potential and you want the, uh, the little ones to grow and breed. Oh, look at that little swishy tail. We got some beautiful animation. Yeah, there's the bigger buck right there. Actually, either one of those is pretty decent looking. I think the antlers are really thin when you're far away. Oh, he's looking around. He's not, uh, he's not too happy. It's okay. Go back to feeding. Nothing to see here. Weird, it didn't... It didn't switch me to, uh... Walk mode. Oh, is that the big one? Let's see if I can get over by this rock. I'm not going to be able to get a very good shot at him. We'll see if I can get a photo mode of him. They're down in a, in a bowl. Right, let's, just, let's just go full uh, sneaky snake here. There we go. Now we get a nice little view. Look at that herd. So, he's probably a two star. Eh, it might be a three star. He's got nice thick antlers. I don't know if this is coming through on Twitch at all, but I'm looking at it in 1440p. Cardboard box activated, exactly. Good night, Munchkin. You're supposed to be in bed in four minutes. <laughs> you want to see the deer? My daughter's back. All right, let me get a little closer and I'll see if I can get it. Get photo mode on him again. Get a little closer. Yeah, so like a little young one star. He's got, see how he's, I'm pretty sure that's not just light. He's a little darker. So he's probably an adult, maybe a mature. I'd like to take either him or him. This guy, I think, is a young one. It has a kind of a okay, decent rack. Uh, I should have had the 3030B iron sights. So let me uh, make sure this one's at 50. And uh, my seven millimeters at 100. Let's see if we can get up here and get a th nice 30 30 shot on them. They're in a really nice sheltered place. It's so like one of the perks I've seen, I don't have yet, is when you crawl, you move really fast and make noise. Like, what? No. I don't. Hopefully they'll add the option to, dis to disable perks somehow. Or pick which perks you want to apply or something. And give us points and then we can apply those towards perks. I kind of want to pop up to a knee. This might scare them off. So let's get another picture first.
There they are. That's nice animations. Look at this guy. Just eating away. Yeah, I can't remember the exact details, Dave, but it's something to do with, like, you move... You move faster when you're crawling, but you make more noise. So if we get... Yeah, it's hard to just get the same angle. See how he's like a darker grayish brown, kind of? So I'm pretty sure... Go away. I'm pretty sure that's a mature, and that's like maybe, a, maybe an adult? I want that middle one. Oh my goodness. Can't see anything through the grass. <laughs> They're all looking right at me. And he goes behind the hill where I can't see him. Awesome. That looked like a good hit. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's stumbling. Okay, so I'm going to throw a marker down. There. I'm going to give him a chance to... Hopefully lie down and die. Because if you immediately chase them, you can keep scaring them. They'll just they'll run further. But it, that looked like him going through that gap in the tree. So we'll see if we can find that. Let's go down here where we shot him. Actually worked out pretty well. He turned broadside. So they were all eating down here, but I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't see evidence of that. So I wonder if that's just a bug. Well, I think I found where we shot him. So yeah, that's a that's a good double long hit. Pink and air bubbly. He just pretty much ran this way, so we can we can follow his trail. And then I marked where he went through the trees. So I'm hoping he went down over here, about 150 meters away. He's bleeding a lot, so that's good. I learned my lesson: don't hunt him in the forest. <laughs> it takes forever to track him. Then the blood trails only last 45 minutes. Oh, there he is. He actually just went over the rise. Yeah, he doesn't look like as dark as I thought he was. Interesting. There wasn't a deer behind him, was there? I don't see any other blood trails. I need to report this bug. So if you're... If you're highlighting an animal and you go into photo mode, the white highlight stays around them. It's not quite as noticeable here, so that's good. You can see it's he's highlighted. 
but it's not terrible. So, Get a little picture here. There's another instance where I wish we had free look. There we go. So I didn't notice their tail flicking up. I mean, that's like the quintessential white tail. They flick that tail up as they run away. What? How'd I hit that high? The 142 meters. I was zeroed for 100. And I thought I was aiming like right there. Okay. Well, whatever. He died. That's the important thing. Actually lodged in his spine, it looks like. Probably why he went down. Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh! This is a deer that got away. I've shot him before with a 243. And it lodged in his spine. So it destroyed, it almost destroyed his left lung. And it lodged in his spine. And he was fine. So this is one that got away. I couldn't trail him because the blood trail got too long. And it disappeared after 45 minutes. But what's cool about this game is the animals are persistent. Like they have a lifespan, they're persistent on the map. So I shot him, I don't know how many, two or three days ago, probably. I don't know when I would have shot him, because it doesn't have a date on it. But And then this is the shot we just took, which makes a lot more sense. Because that's where I was aiming. And it wasn't 145 meters. I thought that was off. All right. This makes more sense. And he bled like crazy, because we nicked an artery. Very cool. And he was a little, a little two-star adult. All right, cool. So that's good to get him cold. He's only 72% genetic potential. Good deal. I'm trying to remember to screenshot this for later reference on all these. We only lost a kilogram of meat. And he only ran 115 meters. So we will sell him. Yay, we got enough to buy the 300... Wind mag. Let's go see if we can get a moose before I call it a night. That's some good deer hunting. Was that three? Or four? Decent amount of deer tonight. Let's go buy a new gun. So it's the Steyr SM12. 300 Win Mag. The next step up is the Carbon CL2, which is the 338 Lapua. Lots of bang. What's this one? That's a 22 long rifle. That's probably the 22 I'll get when I get a 22. This is the one we want right now. Excellent. So we'll keep the 3030 and let's swap out this one. I've got 200 coins left. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. <laughs> oh, he looks goofy. There we go. It's a good looking rifle. 
think it's quite as detailed as some of the others. Good, uh, good trigger discipline there. Cool. Let's go get some moose. Uh, for that, I'm going to go up to this cabin and then we can just head south. This area we're not allowed to hunt in. Uh, but once we get this moose mission out of the way, then I think we get permission to hunt up there. So we need a moose with a trove rating of at least two stars. And I'm just going to hoof it. Well, no. Tell you what, let's grab the jeep. We might have to do some driving before we find a moose. Yeah, dark winds. Uh, sorry, I. Got distracted and didn't see your comment. Sometimes they do kind of act surprised, which is kind of realistic. Like it's a real shock to them, and then they, they're like, oh, I need to run. I've seen moose right down here, so we'll. See what we got today. I've also seen moose up in the hills. Woohoo! Alright, now we're back in territory where we can hunt. Yeah, I wasn't sure he could run. Alright, so I found moose tracks, so I think I have a little bit of info on them. I don't have the full info yet. We need one more sign to unlock the full info. Um, uh, what time is it? Coming up on 3 p.m. So they're sleeping, gonna be heading towards eating. Do I have any moose eating zones? I've got drinking. Drinking. I don't really have any eating zones. Uh, but there's moose all over down here. At least there should be. So let's go see if we can find one. So I think I see an eating zone here. Is that for ducks, though? Yeah, it's ducks. No, it's Ross's goose. Little jeep will go just about anywhere. bird sign, but yeah, we'll grab it. They come down here to drink. What time are they drinking? 
Specifically to get him a drink around nighttime. Oh, okay. So we might end up changing the time of day. We'll take a look around. Here, moosey, moosey, moose. I'm trying to think of where else I've seen moose. I've seen them right here on this road. So I might just keep driving. They're big enough. They're not super duper scared. They will run, but not like the deer. The duck. Quack, quack. Like a fox. Nice thing about moose is they're big. So kind of see where they're at and we can stalk one. I've been back in here. I haven't been all the way back in here though. Jeep is damaged. It seems to be smoking a little bit. Is that just when I'm driving? Maybe it's just when I'm driving. Squirrel friend. Not a whole lot out here. I haven't even seen anything like fleeing. in the hills. I'm not sure this is a jeep trail, but we're making it one. Wow. 
Wow, look at the view up here. What a beautiful game. Not sure what that call is. It's been a while since I hunted moose on the classic. I don't I don't remember uh what they sound like. The females. There's something around. Not sure what it is. Is that an elk? Might have been an elk calling. Yeah, there's some female elk over there. What's our wind looking like? Left to right. Oh, oh he's right there. I had to chat. I had to. Decent rack. Three quarter away shot right behind the front. Right left front leg. Well, if there was a moose up here, it's gone now. <laughs> you see that chat? Did you see that? I put a new mag in the gun, which already had a round chambered and it didn't rack the bolt. Thank you, Nine Rocks Games. Thank you, thank you. Round of applause. Well, how many games get that wrong? I'm gonna give him a bit, and then we'll go see if we can track him down. I marked somewhat over there where I shot him. Now, we're supposed to be getting a moose, but I had the opportunity, so I took it. Sell in for a bit of a track. I'm hoping that was a good long shot. With the 300 wind mag, hopefully he goes down. We'll see, though. I've not hunted elk in this yet. Now, is that... It's supposed to be elk track. It's hard to tell the scale. That looks like whitetail. This is just supposed to be a, excuse me, a bigger elk track. All right, so I marked approximately where we shot him. Let's see if I can find him now. It's sort of a moose, right? All right, he was right over in here somewhere. Here we go. I mean, that looks like a good long shot to me.
Here's something up there crashing around. Where did he go though? It looked like that was pointed. It's pointed that way, but doesn't mean he kept going that way. There he is. Didn't get very far at all. Look at that. How's that for a first elk? I'll take it. I'm not going to have a very good uh, picture here, I don't think. But let's, let's get what we can get. He's in the brush. <laughs> first elk. First shot with a 300 wind mag. Got a ton of graphics artifact going on there. Oh well. Hundred and seventy two meters. Double lung. I'll take it. Of course we lost a lot of energy. These are massive animals. But we got both lungs. Happy with that. get some screenshots of my my first elk so he's a mature only 67 percent uh dna potential so good to get him cold from the herd there we go 691 very nice he only ran 38 meters we just lost 3.7 kilograms of meat i like it works for me the 341, so you know, nothing spectacular, but we want to call these lesser animals from the herd. Done and done. I hear something down there snorting. At least I thought I did. We might have a hunting stand over there. Didn't really see anything of a, a need zone over here. Let's go take another look, though. Yeah, they were feeding, like, right in here. Don't really see any, like, cropped grass or anything. Maybe they just kind of feed wherever. I'm okay with that. There's grass here. They should be able to eat it. Saw something in there, but I think it's just a tree or a rock. I don't know uh, elk that well. I've never hunted them in real life, and I've only hunted them a little bit in uh, the Hunter Classic. Got the wind in our face. This is probably the boundary where we can't hunt anymore. Let's see if we can circle up through here, back down. Not 
really seeing a lot of like game trails or anything up in here. If I saw a moose, I see a moose anywhere else. I think I saw some over here in the mountains somewhere, but I didn't pick up any need zones, so it's not marked. You can see I drove all around, got some campsites and stuff. Uh, we could go up in here. Take the jeep up in there, maybe. Or just head back down like that direction. And along this ridge. Looking for Meese. Oh wait, what was that? Was that a moose call? There's a moose call. Hi! Where's your buddy? How did I not see you over there? Yeah, this is me. Ah, oh, there we go. There he is. Any others back in there? A little hard to see where his leg is. <laughs> Seem to go high. Oh, I'm still I'm yeah, my zero's not a hundred. Duh. Well, that was dumb. I forgot I had a zero to one fifty for that other shot. Got that good. That did drop a mark. Yeah, that's probably just a flesh wound. It didn't happen to catch the spine. That was a derp. Let's see what we can find. standing right around in here somewhere. I saw a blood splat, but it was like way up on his back. Here we go. Well, it's kind of pink. Maybe we did catch some long. Give me the need zone. There we go. Watch him charge me right out of the woods. <laughs> All right, I'm sure I thought he kind of went that way. I love how it like can splatter on the plants too, even though the the way they do it's a little cheesy. Well, maybe we got some long. I mean, he's he's bleeding. Pretty pink. Some on the log there.
There he is. He didn't get very far. I guess it was a better shot than I thought. We'll see what the uh, analysis says. There's our first moose. I don't know if he's going to be a two-star, though. I don't I don't know Moose in this game. Might just be a one-star. Okay. I don't know why. It looked like the blood splatter was up here when I shot him. It was further than I thought. Okay. So we were right on. Never mind. I must have been ranging a tree branch when it said, like, 98 meters. Nothing wrong with that shot. So he was an adult. Two star. All right. We should have got that mission. And I think that unlocks that new hunting area. So he is an adult. Only 68% on the genetics. So a good one to cull on out of there. He only ran 96 meters. Just lost four kilograms of meat. Made 1,268, chat. Look at that. Three of those will pay for the gun. I like it. And he's a 303, which is nothing special. There we go. Check back at Ruiz's cabin. I think he's going to tell us we're free to hunt there in that new area. Let's go check that out. I oh, was still crouched. <laughs> Alright, I checked back. Oh, he's got a note here for us. Thank you! Dear River, I don't know what I would do without your help. Said that I enjoy my solitude and prefer fictional characters to real ones, but this time I'm glad I met you. Cool. Named a character in his story after us. Very nice. Does that mean we can hunt here now? Hey, look at that. So now we can hunt in uh, Falls Reservoir. I mean, we didn't have to pay the 4500 or whatever it was for the hunting rights. So you can either pay cash to get access, or you can do... I think there were four different missions for that guy. And then you, like, get permission. So that's cool. I like it. How much money we got left? Oh, nice. But I think... I don't think we have a shop here. I think I have to go back to the main. Let's see if I got enough to get uh, that better scope. Is it 3,500? I mean, I have enough. I'm not sure why it teleported me over here crouched. Uh, attachments, and we want this guy. Oh, it's only 3,000. Lens quality high. Done. And, yeah, I think we'll go for some, like, moose and elk and stuff. Get our cash reserves back up. So let's go put this guy in here. We'll see the difference now, because we got the old scope. This guy is low quality. 33 millimeter. This is high quality 50 millimeter. So it should be a lot clearer. I would think. So that's our old scope. Here, I'm gonna aim at that bridge and take a screenshot for comparison. Pull out this bad boy. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> now we could reach out and touch someone. I could even put that on the uh, 7mm. Do some longer range stuff. See how we get along with the damage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go and get a fresh mag. I do need to head off to bed soon, but let's... Let's go over to this camp, I think. I think there was some elk over in here. I guess it always fast travels you crouching. Hunting map updated. What's that do for you? You don't see anything new over here. It said hunting map updated, but I'm not sure what that's doing. Maybe it would show these if I hadn't already discovered them? Eh. So, we need to head this direction. Based on the wind. lake over there. Do I have any info on elk yet? I do. They're going to be eating around 5 and they drink later. So let's head out see if we can find an elk eating zone. Yeah, this goes over to the road. Or should we go this way? Maybe we should go that way. I kind of want to check out this new scope. But I also need to go to bed because i got to work tomorrow and I've got an eye doctor appointment tomorrow to get new glasses. So I don't want to show up all bleary eyed. Wonder which way the wind's going. <laughs> oh, there's some water down there. This would probably be a good place to check at night. You could bop down here with the fast travel and check out this water source night or early morning. See what's around. So now that we got that 300 wind mag and a, a good scope, and we could go for like the bighorn sheep and all kinds of stuff. It opens up the possibilities. Why the graphics are being all weird. I hadn't noticed that before. One thing I saw on the roadmap was DLSS support, so I'm looking forward to that, if they can pull that off. Uh oh, I hear something crashing through the trees. Find a need zone. White tails. There's white tails over here. All right, cool. That's probably what we just scared off. It's okay. They're upwind or downwind from us anyway. I 
wonder what the uh, 300 wind mag would do to a white tail at about 600 meters. I think it would still ruin a bunch of meat. Just looking around for need zones. Maybe I heard a really distant elk call off to my left. Could have been a bird or something. I really like country like this, uh, rugged pines and rocks. That sounds like a sheep. Could be bighorn sheep up here. I guess there's mountain goats too. It might have been a mountain goat. I wouldn't think they'd be this low. Pretty cool, there's like canyons here. Don't slip off. Woo! King of the world. Yeah, it doesn't really say, like, elevation, so it's hard to tell. There's still really thick vegetation. And I thought mountain ghosts were usually, like, more uh, above the tree line or where the tree line starts to thin out. But I don't know that much about them. I don't really see anything over here. Uh, I might go check another campsite. Can I find another campsite? Maybe I didn't. Oh, here. And we got this cabin down here. Go down here and look. I don't think I have permission to hunt down here. We can see if he's got missions for us. Yeah, no permission to hunt. Let's see. Do I, I don't have any objectives. Oh, the shirt of iron is his. All right, cool. What is that one? Habit is a shirt made of iron. Find Ludovic's tree and break off some branches. That sounds doable. Excellent. Just in case that would happen to disappear. I'm going to put an expiration marker on it. That's an easy 600 coins, I think. Is 
this is the parking lot? Yeah, there we go. Nope. Maybe a Jeep isn't the way to go here. <laughs> Oh, it's Nez Perce, Idaho? I was thinking it was like Washington State. My geography is terrible. Shoot, if this is Idaho, we can stop by DC Dave's house and get some ice cream. That's what we always do in American Truck Simulator. Oh, there is kind of a trail up here. It goes over to where the tree is. Well, we drove past it. Find a little bit of tree and break off some branches. Is this his tree? Sure is. Here we go. 600 credits. That was easy. Uh, let's see, I must need to inspect the map. Okay. You've discovered Nes Perce Valley Lowland Habitat. These areas offer a vast amount of ponderosa pines, which serve as great bedding covers for animals, along with patches of sagebrush where mule deer can feed. The scarcity of predators allows herbivores, such as whitetails, to flourish. Yet lowlands still provide shelter for silent beasts of prey, such as red foxes. Okay. What do we need to do over here? Uh, okay. I'm supposed to go find animals. I think that somebody else has shot. Give them a last tribute. Probably my animals I couldn't find because the blood trails disappeared. <laughs> So we need to go back down the main road and then up that creek, looks like. Yeah, this is the main road. Yeah, that guy's got an epic voice, doesn't he? the horn button can't find the horn button there's headlights I'm pushing all the things yeah I'd say there's some whitetail around for sure 
<laughs> Whitetail confirmed. All right, we need to hang a right here. I sure wouldn't want to track Whitetail through here. Well, I actually enjoyed the, the tracking. Uh, it's the disappearing part I was not a fan of. All right, when we cross the river, we need to head upstream. It's a pretty drive. We'll earn some credits. I really like that you can unlock the areas by doing missions. You don't just have to grind out the cash. It's always good to have options. Alright, now there's a trail over there somewhere. Looks like it's on the far side of the pond or lake that we're supposed to go to. How much of this stuff is actually physically there? You're not physically there, all right. Just the trees, maybe? Let's put her in four low and floor it. Don't drive into the lake. Oh, that rock's probably there. Oh, cool. Look at this place. I like it. I see a fox laying over there. If I had the HUD on, it would probably have a pointer on there. Pay respects. Press F to pay respects. Wait, that said two of four. Wait, what? Yeah, there's different styles. The, the camo one is the hard top. It's either hard top or soft top. Yeah. It's a tribute back to the uh, yellow Jeep on... Was it Vindicta where I always had the yellow Jeep? Or maybe one of my anti Sazzy playthroughs, I forget. On Arma. Okay, so we got to find animals laying around in here, apparently. Walked right past this buck. It's a nice buck. Why would you just shoot that and leave it? Don't make any sense. I I didn't see him behind these trees. I was focused on the fox. I literally walked right past that and chat's like, Hey, dummy. <laughs> Yeah, I was totally focused on the fox and then just walked right past it. I think that's supposed to be a mud sound, but it sounds like a little shotgun cocking. All right, there's one more animal around here somewhere.
What else have I walked right past? Lars Neon sign with a brass band. <laughs> I remember one time, I think it was the Hunter Classic. No, maybe, no, it was Call of the Wild. I was playing Call of the Wild on stream and I was trying to find a moose and I literally walked like two feet away from it and didn't see it. Chat was going nuts. Sometimes I'm blind. It happens. Turn a flashlight on. And those others are really close. So I assume it's some of her close that I'm just not seeing. in the rocks. Well, I've probably walked by at least three times, if not five or six, Dave. Let me look under the Jeep in case I parked on top of it. see it all right so we had that counted for two I don't know why we got the deer I was a mission designer I'd have one over here kind of spread out Not seeing it. Let's have a bit of a drive around. It's probably a little tiny badger somewhere. Still just got that one point there. I'm thinking it's gotta be gotta be over here close and I've just missed it. I thought there was a horn button. Pushing all the things.
Where you at, animal? Dude, the fox counted twice. I wonder if that's a bug. I couldn't get the uh, the deer to go again. Oh wait. <laughs> Different angle. Yeah, Dave. I I tried and I couldn't get it to show up, but I just had to be at a different angle, I guess. Funny. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Yeah, we got 1,400 again. Haven't shot a thing. I don't think so, Jeep. Stay right there. Pretty good detail. You got little claws. All right, what else you got for me? I think we have to come back here and click that again. Then we get the next mission. Harvest one male white-tailed deer with a single shot to the heart. Shot to the heart. Kerbos to blame. There needs to be a male. All right. I don't think we have to do it over here. There were a lot of whitetails around. I think I'll save that for uh, another time. I do need to head off to bed. Unfortunately, real life beckons tomorrow. Work. Kids, you get up at six, get the kids off to school. Yeah. That's in eight hours. 